chopper flying the Lion's Roofing News Chopper. And it was 150 years ago that they drove the final spike into the railroad system that connected the country coast to coast. And we just caught up with the largest locomotive that was ever on those tracks. Check this out. He's called Big Boy, and for good reason. He weighs over a million pounds. Back in 1941, the Union Pacific Railroad bought 20 of these big boys. And engine 4014 has been painstakingly restored by the Union Pacific Steam Team. So when we announced that we were going to restore the locomotive, people were in disbelief because for 30 years they were told that it would never happen. They were told that it was impossible. Well, here you are looking at the impossible right in front of you. You're looking at the world's largest steam locomotive. And now, engine 4014 is chugging down the tracks, riding the rails of America once again. Well, I'm probably no different than all these young boys and girls that we see every day wearing the little train costume. And so I, I'm doing what I was born to do. Maybe 100% of my, my staff, they would say the same thing. They were born to do this. Now, I just have images of train robbers, dynamite, the safe being blown to bits. Do you ever have train robbers on your mind? This locomotive is too big, too fast for the old cowboy to ride up alongside and try to get up in there. <laughs> Flying across the Arizona desert alongside Big Boy, we were captivated. Its magnificent power right there on display. It's actually quite graceful. It's very precise. You can, you can make it move very accurately. It'll also produce a tremendous amount of power, pull a real long train, and make a lot of noise when it's doing it. The other interesting thing about the steam locomotive is the whistle. You can make that sound very custom. There's a lever, and you can vary that from all very quiet to full open and it operates off of that 300 pound steam pressure. And there were plenty of trackside rail fans to hear Big Boy blow. But the rail fan historian people, they are just overjoyed. Because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for all of us. You know, I've met people from all over the world, lots of people from Australia, lots of people from the UK, uh, some people from the former Soviet states, uh, Germany. France, Italy, from China, Korea, you know, people that have traveled. You talk about, that's a pretty significant investment, you know, buying airfare and doing what you need to do to come over and witness this stuff. So we're, we're humbled by that.